it's Sunday morning and we've started lambing 2020. Yeah, they're a good three. got three lambs, all of a uniform size, which is very good. Sometimes you get two quite big or one small. They look a very good lot. Mm. But we weren't expecting them today. No, we weren't. So she decided to... Uh... So she might be thirsty. Just pop the water down. Thirsty. Well, this this field hasn't got any water, and it's a, a, a pond down there which they walk to. Which I remember we were lambing in was it 2009 in April? It was just like a heat wave, and it was so hot, and they were trying to get into the mere there because the lambs were far in the mere. And we came up one day, and there were two lambs in the mere on the point of not drowning, but on the point of being just chilled to the bone. And the sun was so powerful, rather than put them under the lamp, we laid them out on the grass and they were fine. So anything that lambs now, I always, I always take water to it so she doesn't have to go down searching, for, searching for it. But she's certainly always desperate for a drink when they've lambed and she's really having a good feel. She probably wants some more later on, but she'll be all right with it. Just back, Chasey. You are. So it's a gloomy Monday morning. Looks like she's still got all three, I think. at this present moment see the highland cows up there and the ladies are waddling down for their breakfast <laughs> so second to lamb it's baby doris it's doris oh, bless her. There we go. Nice. oh Dee Dee oh doris we thought she might be thinking about it. Oh, Doris, you're a good girl. You're an amazing girl. So, Doris is our first timer. She was bottle fed by uh, Nick and I two years ago. proud of her. I really, really love this sheep. And I'm just so happy that she's had a lamb and she looks like she's loving it and she's giving it care and attention and 
Oh, it was a really nice moment. It's getting ready to take those first few steps. Being well cared for by Doris. I just want to make sure the other sheep don't come fussing round. Go on. Go on. Go on, Missy. She's picked a nice little spot out of the way. So the triplets that were born two days ago, we've just caught them. Are they beautiful lambs? Now it's time for them to be marked and tailed, yeah. So once they've lambed, they go off here into the lambing paddock where she can look after them without all the other sheep fussing round. Right, and sheep when they're uh, making milk and suckling lambs need quite a lot of water. And there's no access to water in this field, so we have to bring it to them. We usually get it out of this little pond here. Well, that's going down quite a lot because we've had a real, quite a spell of dry weather. Uh, so I brought us along with churn. That should be fine. The grass has freshened up nicely. Just the job. Yeah, let's go back and check on Doris. Size lambs. It's all right, I think. Is it okay? <laughs> oh dear me, this is a young man's job. What's happened to the sheep? We saw it was uh, singled out for lambing about 45 minutes ago and uh, came up to check and she was down, up, and down. And I thought, she said, okay, thanks to Joe, she says, go and look. And the head was there with one leg just back a bit. Uh, she used this lamb before. And having three, so they're not massive lambs. And I think the lamb it with just the one leg showing, and she's fine, but she would have struggled to uh, do it on her own. Oh <laughs> so that just goes to show why it's good to be keeping a very regular check on things as um, who knows how that could have turned out and we will leave her for a bit now and then we'll go back and have another look and see whether she's uh, lambed the other two.
me know if you need my help. <sighs> It's a fairly big lamb. Yeah. So she may have one more. Well, she's marked for three. Right, well that same sheep had to land the second lamb, it was straight, but they usually come out sort of what I always call the like diving position with the feet first, the nose on, on. The feet were right back, and therefore the elbow joint was sort of keeping it back a bit, so I straightened the legs out and out, out he's come. Let's see what she has the next one on her own. Yeah, you'd think it'll be a titch compared to those. She landed the last one by herself. What a fine pair of lambs, Doris. Look at them now. What a great little pair of lambs. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it this time. Please feel free to comment. I love reading them and give the video a like. Subscribe to the Dale Farm channel if you want to see more and I'll be bringing you another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!